okay so in this video we will make the snake and ladder game so before I, before I proceed uh, I'll, 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 I will introduce you my files and folder I have taken to develop this I have taken the image uh, one image for the ladder uh, this we will draw on the board of the game and three different image of a snake I have taken and these uh, images are of a PNG type and another I have taken the JS folder inside this folder I have created my own module JS and this JS is having one class called canvas 2d graphics and inside this class I have a lot of methods which will draw the objects I need on the canvas you can see I can draw the line then the triangle rectangle whatever the objects I need basic for drawing it is there even the image in the bottom you can see I can draw here so image different kind of image I can draw here so all those basics which I need in the canvas to draw so those those methods are exposed here and this is being uh, this is being exported here by this class name so what I'll do when we add the new uh, new JS file here inside that file we'll import this one and using the constructor method here using the constructor here uh, will by passing the canvas element so it will set the context and the canvas and then it will do the drawings whatever we need so let's uh, begin now so first I'll add the folder uh, first I will add the HTML file so I'll name it as a uh, snake ladder ladder.html and inside this JS file I'll add the uh, my snake and ladder JS file that's correct. So let's begin the HTML part first. Doc type, then HTML. We'll give the title. Uh, inside the body, uh, we'll add the canvas element. Okay, uh, below uh, we will include this uh, snake and ladder JS file. So, a script type uh, since we will import the module here, so we have to make this type as module here. Module and uh, source will be dot JS slash the snake underscore ladder dot JS. So, it is included. Uh, let's begin the part of the JS. So, HTML part is done. We'll go to the snake uh, underscore ladder.js file uh, first uh, we will import the our object uh, which is this canvas 2d graphics we import here uh, from the it is in j uh, sorry uh, uh, this module or js of uh, import for uh, uh, before we create the instance of this we have to take the HTML tag right so let's take that so constant uh, canvas equals documents dot get element by ID and it is canvas ID and once I have this I need to get the new object right so underscore uh, say I want canvas uh, object object equal to new or you can see a uh, canvas which is I have imported it is expecting the canvas element you can see here right so we, I will pass the canvas which I just uh, got it by ID uh, once I have this uh, we can set the width and height of the canvas so let's uh, uh, determine the width and height of the canvas so say 500 pixel width and height around 500 pixel okay and we'll set the canvas width and height here so canvas dot width equal to width and canvas dot height equals to height okay so it is done so we have imported just to cross checks what I'll do I'll just console the uh, canvas object which we have created so let's run this inside the browser opening live server and we will go to the console so you can see the canvas is loaded here and inside the, this is the object which we have created right uh, from the 
on this one uh, from this uh, can canvas object and this is my object when we log this one you will see that I have a lot of methods to draw the triangle polygon whatever I need so these methods are exposed by that object and we will use this method to draw so let's begin now uh, for the game and first of all I need the uh, for the board of the game we will have the 10 by 10 uh, boxes placed right so 10 number of columns and 10 number of rows and it, it, it will be box will be placed on onto the canvas so let's let's take the uh, variables for that so number of column equals to 50 sorry it will be 10 and the number of row it will be the 10 so when we have number of column as 10 then the box size will be equals to total width of the canvas divided by the number of columns uh, yeah it is done so this will be the uh, size of one individual square box right so let's take the function for the function uh, for the box and the function box and it will what it will have is it will have the x position then the y position then the size of the box and also the index the number of this box so let's set this value so this dot x equal to x this dot y equals to y this dot size equal to size and this dot index equals to index so this is done uh, from this box so what we'll do uh, uh, the box will have one more property we will we'll make and this is the color of the box because we will not put all the box same color we want the different color so what we'll do so we'll check if the index if this dot index uh, uh, if the remainder divided by 4 and the remainder is equal to 1 then I want the different color so this dot color equals to say I want F00 that is a red color and else if if this dot index uh, model 4 uh, is equal to 2 remainder is 2 then this dot color I want in other different colors so it has 0 F0 zero. and else if this dot index percentage by 4 equals to 3 then I want different color so this is uh, this dot color equals to s 00f and else uh, we will want different color so this dot color so we will take the four different color for the uh, boxes so it will be say s ff0 okay so this is done so let's uh, create the function for drawing the box so box dot prototype dot draw box equals to it will be the function and we will draw that so what we will do uh, since already we have x and y position and size so i will use the object which this object which i have created from this uh, my module so uh, what i'll do you can see the canvas object dot you can see i have all these methods so since i want the box so i can use the rectangle function rectangle and it is expecting these parameters so x will be this dot x and y will be this dot y and the and the width will be the size of the box size and the height also will be the size of the box and the uh, color i want the color of the which i am drawing so this dot color so this, this function will draw the uh, box for me along with that box i want the numbers right uh, to be displayed on the box so for that canvas object dot fill text i have the function so filter function and then this is expecting the text so text will be this dot index number which will get plus one will add and the position will be i want the right right corner on the top so this dot x plus this dot size by four and then y position i want this dot y plus uh, right position means then we can take a different 1.5 we'll, uh, we'll take slightly right side so this dot x plus this dot size by divided by 1.5 comma this dot y plus this dot size by 4 then the color I want the white color for the numbers so this is done uh, 
and now what we'll do we will take the uh, we'll take the uh, array of this object into the variable so let's take the variable for that so what we'll do uh, we'll take the variables variables and then it is uh, where box array okay and then after the uh, box array define uh, uh, yeah, we will take the uh, array of this one. So uh, we want the position of x and y from where starting right. So let's take, let's take that variable also x equal to 0 and the y will be since when we draw the box so it will start from bottom here right 0 1 to 10 then again 11 to 20 then 21 to 30 still it will go to top 100. So it will start from bottom uh, left most uh, left side and the bottom and from there it will move right side and then it will go up and until 100. So for that we have to with the x position will be left will be the 0 and the y will be the total number of rows so row number minus 1 and times the box size and uh, sorry it is box size okay okay so let's uh, uh, get the uh, uh, let's set up this so for let i equals to 0 i is less than number of column times number of row and uh, i plus plus and inside this uh, will set so box array dot push and it will be the new of object box and it is expecting the x and y position also x and y then the size will be the box size which we got by dividing the total width by number of column then the uh, index will be the i plus one or whether we can take i because when you take i then it will start with 0 to 99 it will go because it is 10 by 10 so it will go till 99 so once i have this then we will increment the x by equal to x plus box size so one more thing is uh, when we are increasing the box size since it will move from for first left to right then again top again left to uh, right to left so it has the direction right so i'll i'll take another variable called direction we'll make it as one and so when it will move then we'll, in, we'll multiply by direction and we'll check if the x is greater than or equal to width of the uh, canvas uh, and uh, the x is less than less than or equal to minus box size then in this case we will reverse the direction direction equals to uh, minus 1 multiply by minus 1 and then the x plus equal to uh, box size box size times direction and the y since we when the uh, when the x will increase then we will uh, decrease the y y height right so y minus equals to box size so this will set up the variable for me for it, it will initialize the array of box so let's uh, print this one and let's draw this one so what i do so i'll take the function uh, called uh, draw board board and it will what we'll do inside this box array dot for each uh, we will draw that so let's do this b dot draw board so draw box sorry it is this draw box so let's call this function at the bottom draw board and let's check if it is drawn perfectly we'll go here refresh this so you can see i have only one box drawn here so there will be some problem so let's debug this ladder and then we can add the debug point here let's refresh this and we'll check inside the box array if everything is fine all the parameters are correct so you can see yeah uh, all the parameters are correct so you can see the x position is still all the zero so that is why it is displaying and y positions are not correctly placed so so it means array is not initialized correctly as we expected so box equal to box to direction i equal to 0 less than number of column i plus plus x and y index that's fine then x equal to so it, this is not multiply so it will be the plus right and then we'll increment fine so let's check and reload the game again and we'll see in the console box array yeah now you can see yeah, after the some position y is n a n so we'll check why it is so this is box array it's not the box size it's really the box size so now fine again we reload the game 
We'll check if all the parameters are correctly placed inside the box array. Yeah, now all the parameters seems correct. We don't have any NAR or any zeros most of the positions, so that's fine. Uh, so I'll remove the debugger. So you can see, yeah, the, my board is drawn now. So on the top of this board, uh, you can see the uh, I didn't have the labels here, the index position displayed here, numbers. So let's check that. So we'll go to the uh, the fill text this dot uh, size by 4 let's uh, we'll add the debug point here for this so inside the snake dot ladder we have this function and we'll re reload the game again and yeah we came here and we'll see if all the parameters are coming inside the function so you can see the text is one fine x position we have y position we have color we have and yeah font size we did define that is why it is undefined it's not correct so what we'll do inside the after the color we gave we have to give the font uh, font style also so i want say 10 pixel in height and the arial as a style of the font so it is done let's remove the debug point and reload the game yeah you can see now it is a starting with one and it just goes to till 100 so the my board is drawn now so this is the board of the uh, uh, board of the uh, snake and ladder see the uh, the yellow color is too much dark so what i'll do i'll take this some dull yellow color say i want this one inside this i can take this color and we'll go here and we'll change the yellow color with that color value yeah done reload yeah it seems now nice now so on the top of this i will place the uh, snakes now so let's draw the function for the uh, uh, to draw the image of the snakes on the top of this board so what i'll do below this function i'll take a fun function function to draw to draw image of snake and ladder so function so uh, load uh, snake and ladder ladder and so what it will do we will we have to take care of the instance of the image object right so let's go here and the create the instance of this so here below first we will take the uh, snake one equals to new image this this object we have to create so a snake two equals to new image then we want a snake three equals to new image okay and now i want a snake four equals new image and the ladder i want three ladders say ladder one equals to new image and the ladder two equals to new image and ladder three equals to new image so my all images are uh, created so uh, we will add the uh, location for these images so what which image it points to so a snake one dot source equals to dot image in, this is inside the image folder so this is my image folder from this i want the snake one this this image there for the image one object so this will be the snake one dot a snake one dot png uh, snake two dot source equals to image slash a snake two dot png snake three dot source equals to image slash snake three dot png snake uh, four dot source equals to image slash snake i want this uh, whatever the image of the snake one is there i want in the uh, uh, snake four dot source png uh, let's set for the ladder ladder one dot source equals to i want the same image for the ladder so image slash ladder one dot png 
on ladder 2 dot source equals to slash ladder 1 dot png ladder 3 dot source equals to sorry on dot slash image slash ladder 1 dot png so my all images are uh, done so what i do now we will try to draw the image uh, inside the load snake and ladder function so let's begin that so already uh, we have this object inside this we are having the draw image with along with width and height so we will use this function and we have the image object so first i want the snake one and the it will ask the position so position what will give say i want the box size times 1 and the y position I want the box size uh, times 4 box size times 4 and the width I want around 100 and the height I want around 250 ok and the snake object dot draw image with, along with width and height and the same snake 2 and it is uh, the x position I want the box size box size times 1 and the y position say I want 0 and the width I want around say 230 pixel and the height around 400 pixel ok then the canvas object dot image then a snake 3 and the width I want around x position I want x position box size times 5 and the y position box times the 2 and the uh, width I want 100 and height I want around 250 and uh, the canvas object dot draw image oh, sorry it will be width and height so this function will take a snake 4 comma this will be the x position will be box size times 6 and the y position will be the 0 and the height width will be the 100 pixel and the height will be around say 200 pixel so the snake we have done let's draw the ladder now so to draw the ladder first uh, we will with the we'll draw with the since we have only one image of the ladder right so while drawing we have to rotate the uh, canvas to draw in the, the different boxes so we'll do that one so what i'll do first for that canvas object we have first i'll save the current uh, context then i will rotate the canvas rotate and with the angle say 0 0.25 radian and then we will draw the image canvas dot draw image draw image then it will be ladder 1 and the position I want is say uh, box size times 5 then the box size times 3 and the width I want say 30 and the height I want 20 pixel and after it is done then we restore the canvas so again uh, another image i want so again we rotate the canvas canvas start save before that rotating uh, rotating we will save so what will happen when we call the restore then it will come back where we have a store we have where we have saved this canvas again it will come come back to that position so again uh, we rotate the canvas with say minus uh, 0.15 and we will draw the image canvas dot draw image and it will be ladder 2 and the position i want for this is say box size times 7 then the y position i want the box size times 2.5 and the width i want 30 and the height i want 320 pixel again we will restore the canvas dot store again i want the another final final image so that is canvas dot again uh, we'll uh, uh, rotate the canvas so again we'll save the current context of the canvas then again we rotate with the angle say minus uh, 0 0.2 uh, sorry it will be canvas object dot rotate and minus 0 0.2 and the canvas dot draw image draw image and the position of uh, sorry image will be the ladder 3 and the position will be the 
um, box size times 4 the y position will be box times box size times uh, 7 and the width will be 30 and the height I want say around 170 pixel and we will store the canvas canvas restored, uh, restored so it is done so let's call this function inside the load function so this load will happen when the window will get load right so we'll add the window event window dot on load and load equals to function and inside the function we'll call this drawing from drawing thing so first uh, before we draw the image we have to call the uh, background board first right and the top of that we will draw that so we'll call this function first then we'll call the uh, image load so let's check if it is fine when the window is getting loaded so we'll go ahead and refresh you can see the my uh, all the images of the snake and that is drawn so it you can see when from this position when the coin will come then it will come to this position and if the coin is here then it will go to the of it is question so all this uh, snake ladder is uh, uh, correctly placed so let's begin now uh, now the the player will play the game so what i'll do i'll take the player function and uh, we, i will play the game with the two players so we'll get the instance of two player and then we'll start the playing of this game so let's uh, let's take the player function now so what below this one so i'll take the player function so function player and the player can have the color I'll take the player with a different color and it will have the player number okay and let's set this so when the player will uh, move then you can see uh, the player can have here so it will have the position on the uh, board right so uh, so the position can be from 1 to 100 right so let's take that one so let's start with initially 0 so this dot position equals to 0 and then this dot color equals to what color will create and uh, this dot uh, uh, player number equals to player number okay so one more property of this player will have because when the player will play the game then they can roll the dice right so that is the function for that so let's get the roll function for this uh, uh, player so this dot uh, roll dice Plus two function and when it will roll then uh, we'll get the random value for the uh, roll right so math dot random so it will give so maximum value we can have is six so what i'll do we'll make the floor of this one so we'll make the lowest uh, we'll make it to the floor of this value whatever random value we'll get so floor value and inside this uh, with this we'll add the one so suppose we'll get a zero to uh, 0.599 then it will flow to 0 right so uh, so what we'll get so we'll get maximum minimum uh, from 1 to 6 value we'll get uh, with this condition so when we get 0 then we are adding with 1 so it will give so till when we get the maximum 5 then 5 plus 1 equal to maximum value 6 it will give so this is how it is done so it will give it will give me the uh, value from 1 to 6 and that is random value so we'll check if uh, uh, the R value is less than or equal to because when we play with us move to the uh, uh, play value will move to the around 100 then if it get uh, suppose if it is 98 position if we get 6 then it's not a valid move right so we will check that condition here so if check if the R is less than or equal to the uh, array box uh, sorry uh, box array box array box array dot length minus one if it is difference is uh, and the uh, this dot position if the uh, difference of this one is uh, less than or equal to the uh, the what random value we got then we'll move the position of this uh, coin right so this dot this dot position plus equals our position so we'll check one more thing uh, uh, you can see in the, when we play the snake and ladder where we get the uh, one in the random value then only the player will come active and it will move the coin right so let's add that condition here so let's check first uh, this one is active this video will uh, this uh, boolean uh, uh, property will take and we'll check first here if this dot sorry r is equal equal to one then we'll set this dot is active to two once it is true along with this condition we'll check if the player is active 
so this dot is active then only it can move the position from this okay so it will move now uh, so means we are getting we are, we are moving the uh, coin now so when the position of this coin will move to the this hundred position then the uh, winner is that coin right that uh, player so what we will do uh, we we'll check the condition uh, so check if player wins okay and inside this we will check if this dot position is equals equals to the box array dot length minus one when it is reached then what we will do uh, we'll, uh, uh, we can uh, we can alert the uh, user and say the player and the kind number of this player so this dot player number player number plus win and uh, uh, we'll write the next line say uh, please press enter to restart the game yeah so this is done so when the when it will reach to the hundred position with particular uh, player then it that is win so this is the message here okay so let's take another function for this uh, player and uh, that is this dot draw player equal this will be the function and we'll draw the player here so to draw the player uh, first uh, we want that where this player is in which box it is so let's uh, get that one we can get so let uh, current position equals to the from box array uh, we have and in this we can pass this dot as part i mean the position so this position will give me the uh, where this uh, the user at at which box currently this user belongs to and from there uh, for at that box we'll draw the user this player so then uh, we'll draw that so we use the canvas uh, canvas object dot fill circle we'll draw this uh, we'll use the circle function of the fill type and the position will be the current position what we have got current position dot x plus the uh, current position dot size by 2 it will give me the center position so current position dot y plus current position dot size by 2 and the radius say i want box size whatever we have by 3 and the start angle 0 and angle i want 2 times pi dot pi and the direction I want in any direction so false and the color I want the player color so let's take the one variable here at the top um, here along with these variables we will take other constant value we can take so because color will not change so player 1 color equals to say I want in the uh, different color so uh, what I will do I will take the player 1 for on this color say this color I want for the player one and the for the player two I want say around white is so I take this color for the otherwise I can take this color for the uh, player two so we'll go here and we'll add the player player to color plus two this one so we we got this player one and player two colors will pass here while drawing the player so at the end here we have um, this dot color okay so we will get the instance of this then you can see we uh, will pass the color here right and that color we can pass when we get the object of player one so let's do that now we'll create the uh, object of the color uh, sorry player here so here player one equals to the new uh, player you can see and now it is expecting the color here right so now we'll pass the player one color and the the player number will be the one and the player two player 2 will be equals to new player and the color I want the player 2 color and the number will be the 2 
so this is done so let's draw the player 1 and player 2 when we load the game so below we have the unload function let's draw that so uh, player 1 dot draw player and the player 2 dot draw player and we, when we reload the game then you can see the player will be drawn you can see here i have one player drawn here so uh, we cannot see other player because we are drawing at the same position right but when we play the game then it will move so the events to play the game i want the click event when you click the mouse then i want the uh, i want to change the uh, uh, change the uh, uh, dice from one player to another player and they have the chance alternatively so what i'll do uh, first i'll take the one variable here uh, boolean that is is uh, player one turn so we'll make it as false initially we'll give the player two first chance otherwise if you want then we can uh, put take the math dot random and when the probability is less than 0 0.5 uh, then i want the false else i want the true so it will give the it will give the random value of the true false to this player uh, uh, is player turn variable and uh, while playing the game let's take the function for the play game and uh, function play game and we will write function play game okay, play game and inside this will check if is player one turn if it is then uh, the player one will get the chance to roll the dice right so roll dice function we have already added and then uh, and then we can have the player one drawn right player one dot uh, draw player one and then we'll draw the player two also at the same push, same time player two draw okay and uh, once it is done then i will make the piece player turn to false again else same thing we will do yeah so but before this we can see when we when we click the mouse i want to call this function so what we will do uh, uh, we will uh, uh, we will we'll, we'll call this function the mouse click so uh, every time we have to reload the uh, entire image of the board and the load so i will call this two function back on the click of this mouse so here so this function will call this first the board then the uh, the images for this also first the board then the images okay done so uh, let's add the event for the uh, mouse click so you can see the window dot add event listener and we'll add the click event and the function will be the play game okay and we add the another event called add event listener uh, it will be the key down and why i even i'm taking this event is because when you can see when our game is uh, over uh, while playing the game you can see here when, uh, when we are adding the alert the when the game is over then we are asking to press the enter to restart the game so we that event will add here so it is keyed on and we'll uh, we'll take the arrow function and the event i'll pass with the e and let's uh, add that uh, key down e sorry this will be the okay fine then we'll check if a dot key code is equal to 13 13 is the key code for the enter key and then once it's done then we'll reload that windows dot location dot reload the game fine so we add we added all the events so let's check if it is working go the go to the game and we'll play again so we'll check if we have some error maybe we don't have any error yeah you can see when we when we got the player to one so this uh, this player still didn't get to one value that is why it is not playing you can see it is moving fine so player one wins so and we we'll start the we when we press enter then it will reload the game so uh, we will check if we have we have this if condition so if it's 
Oh, so it is play because if when it is player one turn, then we are rolling the dice with player one, right? So again, when it is player two, else, the player two will roll the dice, right? So this was my mistake I did. So now it is cut So now you can see when we play the game, see both the player will roll the dice, and you can see both the player will move now. Okay. Player two dot roll the dice. Oh, it is not false, it should be two. Yeah, so now done. Yeah, you can see both the players are moving now. So, fine. So, we did this one. Uh, so, let's add the uh, let's add the uh, 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 functions when the when you can see when the player, uh, player will reach to this position then it will come back to here right so let's uh, modify that one so this is happening uh, inside this uh, player uh, draw, draw player function here right so here we'll check the if the uh, this dot position if it is equals to the uh, position of uh, you can see the, this is a event so I'll take some 13 you can see and I want the position here so what I'll do so when I want the this one is a 50 60 so the, this is 59 the index of this one will be the 58 then it will be less than 1 right so when it is 58 then it will go to the uh, 90 sorry uh, 18 90 position so it will be minus 18 so what I'll do so when the, this dot is for position equal to 58 then i want to change the position of the uh, player so this dot position is equal to position is equal to the uh, 18 that is you can see when the when the spot will come here then it will go to 18 position uh, then we will draw the player there uh, there so what we will do so we can add the same some delay there set timeout so set a timeout function we can call and inside this we'll add the drawing and uh, after so how it will cause so we'll give the two second delay uh, to draw the there at the bottom so what it will do the uh, inside this function will uh, take the current position equals to the uh, box array and from that this dot uh, position and with that position we will draw the we will draw the circle so this this will be the same copy and inside this we will call that so uh, if every after two we what we will do so when the uh, when the player will reach to this uh, this box then it will wait for two seconds then it will come down to uh, this position so this will happen so like this we'll do for all the uh, what are the uh, snakes and ladder we have done so we'll add that if uh, if event here if any else condition here so let's uh, add that so if else else if then this dot position is equals to the say i want i want to take the 18 well i'll change later on and we'll see when it is uh, 98 then it will go to 27 uh, from 98 to 27 so 98 to 27 so so i'll copy this and this i want 27 okay so before it will move let let me add the one more this image because we want the player to see in there right before it move to the bottom so we'll add this so okay so here we'll add here the image we'll draw the player every time so like this we'll add for the other event and this time we will take the this snake when it is 74 then it will go 33 so, so 74 it will go to 33 let's copy again uh, 
uh, when it is uh, 93 then it will go to 66 93 to 66 so it is 93 93 to 66 uh, now this time we'll add for the ladder so it will increment increase this time so when it is uh, uh, say 16 then it will go to 55 that is 16 one six then it will go to 75 and we will add another if condition and when it is uh, 6 then it will, it will go to 34 that is 6 go to 34 and the last and final uh, when it is uh, 30 then it will go to 87 when it is 30 it will go to 87 you can see uh, so how many image now you will draw those many if condition you have to add here and that's all when it is done then you can play the game so let's do that so we'll see else it will draw the as usual so this is updated now so let's check if it is working fine we'll save and reload the game so let's check yeah moving Yeah, you can see when uh, a spot come here and then it, it it came back to this box again when it will move the next time then it is incre increasing with that position now so it is working fine uh, now so what i'll do uh, i'll add another canvas here to uh, draw the details of the player so let's do that so what i'll do first i'll create the canvas element here so let's create that so canvas canvas player equals to the document dot create element and it will be the canvas and the we'll we'll take the object of this uh, again from this uh, canvas 2d graphics so underscore canvas uh, player object equals to the new canvas 2d graphics and we'll pass the canvas player here um, okay and uh, below uh, uh, below this we have set the height of the uh, normal canvas so here canvas player dot width I want say around 300 pixel and the canvas player dot height I want around 300 pixel and canvas player dot uh, the style dot background color I want in the black color say as 00 and then I want to float to the left so uh, canvas dot style dot float float I want in the left okay and once uh, element is created then I will append to the body so document dot body dot append child that will be the canvas so let's check if it is working Uh, it's not the canvas player it should be the should not be the canvas should be the canvas player here so canvas player canvas player it will be canvas player so let's check reload now here yeah, you can see the my uh, player details i can draw here so first uh, i'll create the function to draw the, those details so function draw player details and this function uh, what we will do we will draw the details of the so first I want the field text and uh, the which player it is so uh, field text and the it will be player 1 and the position I want 20 pixel from the left side and the top I want 30 pixel and the color I want the player 1 color and the font I want say 25 pixel in the size and the area in the font, font style and below the uh, side of that I want to draw the the circle dot uh, fill circle 
and the position will be uh, sorry position will be the uh, 150 pixel from the x position y will be around 20 pixel the radius say I want a box size by 3 and the starting angle 0 in angle 2 times math by and the direction will be any direction you can take also 2 and the color I want the play 1 color so this is play 1 details now for the player 2 filter then fill text and I want the player 2 and the position I want 20 pixel from the left and the white position it will be incremented right because 20 pixel we took for the player one so it will be say 20 plus 50 pixel margin I want so it will be around 70 pixel white position and the color I want the player two color and the style it will be the 25 pixel height and the area in the font style and the canvas uh, dot fill circle and uh, it will be the uh, X position will be the 150 pixel and Y position will be the say 60 and the radius will be the box size by 3 and the starting angle 0 and angle 2 times math 5 and the direction in direction and the color I want the player 2 color okay and uh, what we will do we will check if the play which player turn it is so player 1 is player 1 turn if it is done then uh, we will display the uh, which player is turn it is so player object dot fill text and the, the this, this function and we will put player to turn and the position I want for this is x position will be say 20 pixel and y position it will be uh, say 120 and the and the fill color I want the uh, player to color and the style I want 25 pixel in the height and the area in the font again uh, if it is that then again else will put the uh, we will call that it is player to uh, player two turn player one turn so copy and can see and it will be player one turn and it will be the player one color so done so let's check if it is fine so we'll call this function and we'll call when we roll the dice right so we just before that we'll clear and we'll call this function and uh, let's check if it is fine go to here and refresh we can we may have some error yeah you can see uh, since it is not displaying because we didn't clear the canvas so what we'll do before drawing this here uh, for inside this dot it has will clear the canvas so canvas object dot clear rect clear canvas and the position will be x x j x will be 0 y will be 0 and the width will be the canvas player width and the height will be the canvas player height height okay and we uh, while loading the game we will call this function in the on the load of this window so here we can call let's check if it is fine you can see when it is loading you can see now it is player one turn player two turn player one turn now player two turn player one turn so this is working fine so what i'll do i'll create the one more object and i will draw the uh, dice here below of this uh, player two turn so I'll, I'll draw the dice so let's take the function for the dice now so Here below, uh, let's take the function function dice and function dice, and it will have x position, y position, the size of the dice, and the color of the dice we want. Okay, and we will set the color position x equal to x, sorry, it will be x, uh, x, and uh, this dot y equals to y, this uh, dot size equal to size and this dot color equals to color okay and we'll have one more function here called the dice and uh, it will be equal, equal to function and it will expect the one number for each random number we will draw the dice right so it will take the random number we can say n or r so and then inside this we'll uh, first we'll draw the box so let's draw the box canvas object dot fill rectangle 
so if you rectangle and the position will be this dot x this dot y this dot size and this dot size and the color will be this dot color okay and we will take this switch statement here uh, we will check the end uh, which value it is so case when it is 1 then we will draw the 1 so for that canvas object dot play dot object dot it will be fill circle we will draw the uh, small circle and the position will be the this dot x plus it should be at the center right so this dot size size by 2 it will give me the center position so this dot x uh, y and understand y plus this dot size size by 2 so this will give a exact center position and the radius i want around 10 and the starting angle 0 and the end angle 2 times pi and the color uh, sorry direction will be the false and the color will be this dot color so done and we'll break now let's check case 2 when it is number 2 then we'll draw the canvas object dot fill circle and this time position will be this dot x plus uh, we'll let this dot size size by 4 uh, by 4 um, and by 4 and the y position will be this dot this dot y plus this dot size by 4 and the radius it will be 10 and the uh, starting angle 0 2 times and the dot y false and the color is 1 this dot color so and we will draw with this uh, 2 dot we will draw for the number 2 right so we will do that and uh, we will break case 3 so let's check the position of this one so this will be uh, 3 times and the y will be the 3 times ok so this is done for the uh, number 3 we have to we'll copy this one and we'll paste for number 3 and the remove this one break and case 4 will paste ok break and case 5 and break and default will add and here we will on uh, the six box six uh, circle and to be break again so this is done so let's uh, in this we'll have the only five circles so we'll I will do not delete one so let's delete this and for the five we'll have the five dot for the four four dots so let's check the position now so for the uh, uh, three dots so this dot x and this dot this is correct and the uh, center one I want exactly at the center so this we can take divided by 2 and this we can take divided by 2 so this is fine for the fourth so I'll take this dot x by 4 and this dot y by again 3 and then uh, y will be 3 this dot uh, x 3 times uh, uh, x and this is correct so this dot this dot x uh, x uh, by uh, size by 4 then this dot y plus size by 4 that's correct then this dot x 3 times size by 4 then this will be the y will be the uh, this dot size by 4 at the 3 uh, right side then size by 4 again uh, this dot x size by 4 and then y position will be this dot um, see first position will be the left side so this dot x by 4 then another will be the uh, y by 4 that is correct and another dot i want is uh, x equal 3 times size by 4 correct and y position will be this dot uh, size by 4 that is correct another will be the this dot x uh, this dot size by 4 that is uh, uh, that is correct and the y position will be 3 times the this dot size by 4 and this will be the 3 times and that is correct 
and the for the fifth it will be the similar to that but along with that we will have the center one dot at the center so we will make this one as divided by two okay and for the circle uh, uh, let's take uh, we will we'll divide by eight and uh, we will divide by eight and we will add some offset say ten and for the y position it will be the uh, you can say uh, by 4 that is fine and for this will be divided by 4 you can say uh, this one correct and for all this y position i want 3 times 3 times and correct y position will be the divided by 4 the x position i will i will divide by 8 so this will be the 8 plus 10 offset then this will be divided by 8 plus sorry plus 10 offset and this will be the 8 uh, plus 10 offset divided by 8 plus 10 offset and for the last one also 8 plus 10 offset now the position so first we'll start with index 1 position that is fine then 3 then it will be 5 5 times and then again it will start with position 1 1 times and 3 times then 5 times so it is done so i think it is correct so let's call this function uh, when we, the first we have to create the instance of this so at the top we will create the instance of this so you can see the dice equals new dice and it is expecting the parameter so i want at the I want at this position right so x will be 20 and y will be say around 200 or 180 we can take so it will be x will be 20 y will be 180 and the size will be the 100 by 100 size will be 100 and the color I want as white color yes, F, F, F. so and uh, we'll call from this object we'll call as soon as we will roll the dice so we have the role function here as soon as you we'll get that below that uh, dice dot dot dice so this is done so let's check if it is working fine oh this is fill uh, instead of fill i think this is my mistake uh, we should not call the fill it should be the stock rectangle right stroke should be the stroke rectangle fine so let's refresh this you can see now this is 6 this is uh, it's going to default okay uh, this is happening because while calling this function uh, we have to pass by some number right so that is why it, it is going to default always so inside this uh, uh, rule the dice function and here we will call this by r value what we get and reload now so as you can see it is working i uh, want to four this is working fine so thank you guys this was the game uh, thank you for watching this video